by Chuck Hattel. Call Louise Upston. Tinakwe it's a manafakawa. Tinakwe it's a fari. Rau ranga tira ma. Tine tamihi kia koto irunga ite kopapa o tira. Tina koto na iwi onati mani oposo. Tina koto. Tina koto. Tina koto katoa. Eighty minute. Tina rawe ite kaiti akitanga o nataki. Pirarare o te tiriti o waitangi. No reira e te whari mire. Mr Speaker, this is another proud day for this House. It is a proud day as we complete more settlements um, that have been outstanding for not just years um, but decades. This Government has signed 22 deeds of settlements since we came into office in November 2008 and today will go down as another milestone in our progress towards all settlements. Settlements recognise the rights and wrongs of the past and have an important part in strengthening the relationship between the Crown and Iwi. I want to use the words of my colleague and the Chair of the Māori Affairs Select Committee, the Honourable Tō Henare, um, who said in a recent settlement speech that we cannot call New Zealand a truly democratic society until, until all of our nation's sores have been healed. So, Mr Speaker, today is another big step forward in healing our nation, and in this case, those surrounding the Waipa River. Today is also a significant day for me as the Member of Parliament for Taupo. The Waikato River connects the people of my electorate, from Turangi in the south to Cambridge in the north. And as the Waipa is the Waikato River's largest tributary in length of 116 kilometres, your river connects the one I represent. This bill is an important companion to the Waikato Tainui Ropatu Claim Settlement Bill, which was first introduced in April 2010. So, Mr Speaker, this is the final piece of the puzzle which gives effect to the co-governance arrangements for the Waikato River. We recognise that the Waipa River is a significant contributor to the waters of the Lower Waikato River, to social, cultural and environmental, as well as economic well-being across the entire region. We recognise, Mr Speaker, that uh, this river is your taonga, and the relationship with the river lies at the heart of Maniapoto's spiritual and physical well-being. The involvement in co-governance and co-management of the Waipa River is a key aspect of the longer-term sustainability of the Waipa River, both for today and for future generations. I also see friends and partners in the gallery who are also working in important work to clean up the Waikato River, and I acknowledge their presence in the gallery. I also want to um, acknowledge the presence of the Honourable John Luxton, who is the co-chair of the Waikato River Authority. It was just on Saturday, Mr Chair, as I attended the Raukawa 25th year um, celebrations, and it was great to see a public display of the progress that the Waikato Authority, River Authority um, have been making. So, Mr Speaker, this is a proud day for this House. The settlements help to unlock uh, the economic potential um, for iwi. It's a significant boost for regions, in this, in this case, the Waikato region, the greater um, region, and also ass assists in very small communities as well as the wider region and also our nation. And it's clearly part of our priority as the government in ensuring that we build a more competitive and productive economy. So let's celebrate this day together. Kia ora. Speaker. I call Brendan Horan. Mr Speaker, I rise on behalf of...